Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, brother? I'm all right. Who's I was right? just uh, calling to just let you know mm -hmm. when I was a uh, Christian now, I just reverted to became Christian. I'm born again Christian. All right. So you left Islam, my friend? Yes. That's wonderful. And what happened? You want to tell people here what happened? Basically, uh, three years ago, I had a dream. Okay. Sorry, I'm just a bit feeling one sec. Hello? Yes, I hear you. So three years ago, basically, I had a dream that some, I had a dream. And in my dream, yeah, Jesus came down. Okay. Jesus came, basically, not came down, but Jesus was sitting down. You know, like in the mosque when everyone sits down, when uh, on, the, on the ground, and then you got the, like a sheikh giving the dawah. All right. And he sits on the chair. Mm -hmm. So basically, when I went there, Jesus sat on a chair, and every, somewhere high, high up here, and everyone sat on the floor. Hallelujah. Everyone sat on the floor. So when I went to sit down, I was told to go, to go away, you know, amongst us. All right. So if, and then after that, like three years later, I met a brother. I met a brother. He's like a Christian brother. He used to always give out leaflets, and I used to always say, "Brother, this is what you're doing is not the truth." And I used to Amen. he used to tell me about Christian things. I used to, used to show me testimony. I never used to believe in. It. I used to doubt in it. And a year later, I saw a brother I had a issue in my life and had heart pain. He, and the guys, and the Christian guy, he said, I know a Muslim brother that reverted to Christian. And when I went to him, he had a heart, severe, severe heart pain. And he prayed for me. A week later, there was no heart pain. And then a week, week later, I saw him basically. I saw him. I was basically just outside with a young teenager away. He was trying for me. Are you there still? Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Basically, that's teenage. I was with a teenager, so I said to him, "You're still young, and you shouldn't be outside with me. You might as well just come and we'll just walk around." And then as, as I walk around, I see the brother again. So when he went to the brother, the brother basically, sorry, one second. I was, the brother basically, the same brother that paid for my heart, my heart pain went away. And then after basically, I saw the same brother. We went. He he told the guy. He told us about Christian again. So what he did, he prayed for the young boy. As he prayed for the young boy, the young boy, straight away, he had an image of Jesus on the floor. And after that, he said, I believe and everything. But when asked, he said, and the guy said to me, you just saw a friend see him, like a witness, a miracle. Are you still not going to believe? So I said to Allah, as I was expect, accepting it, I said to Allah, yeah. I said to Allah, Allah, I'm not accepting this. I'm, I'm, I'm accepting this without, I'm not accepting this in my heart. So, and then my heart pain started coming back slowly, slowly. And then the young boy, he said to me, the reason why your heart pain is coming back, is Lord Jesus himself is with me the whole time. He said to you, you accept it without. And I was shocked. Hallelujah. And I said to myself, how did this young boy read my, 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 in my head? What's in my head? I was shocked. So I said to the guy, you know what? I'm going to accept this with no hesitation, no doubt. And I accepted it. Since then, my, my, I've been freed. I don't have no stress, no depression, I had anxiety. I wanted to take my own life. I didn't know what to, to do to myself. And I said to God, is, this the, is there any way out from this? And I would never thought there was a way out. I thought I'm just the only way out is for me to take my own life. So I'm, I'm re really, really grateful. I'm, every time I try to pray, before when I was Muslim, I used to pray bad thoughts always to go to my head. And I never used to want to pray. But now since I become Christian, I pray with no bad thoughts coming to my head. My head is clear. Every time I pray, when I became Christian, I had, the whole time my head was just feeling like uh, tingles. like tingles. My head, it tingled. The guy, when I accepted Lord Jesus, even before I accepted Lord Jesus, I started feeling tingling in my head. I think, what is this thing in my head? Like a, like a tense in my head. And it was a good feeling. Oh, everywhere my, my body and my head was just feeling tense the whole time. And he said, this is Lord Jesus, he said to me, the guy said to me, the reason why you're he's touching the whole time, you must have been a good person. You've done good things in your life. But the demons that were inside me were taking over me and he cut 
passed out the demon since the demons came out my life has been freed i coughed out like 25 times and the guy that prayed for me the guy that cast out the demons didn't see the demons but the young boy that was there he saw all the demons he's he was looking down the whole time because i didn't just i trusted the boy because the boy i just met him that day so he was a muslim as well and then after i said the, the guy said how did the demons look like he said 25 demons some with horns some some are red some are black and some with horns he said they weren't down the, in, like, in a black hole so i was shocked and since then my life has just been freed and i'm so grateful every time i pray jesus. to lord jesus that well, my saved my I'm, life. Ha I'm happy for you Trust and um, uh, um uh, you know we pray that you you will continue yeah. with your faith and uh, yeah. you will bring more muslims out of islam and you you yeah. bring them to christ you know it help uh, now it's your yeah. duty to bring more people yeah. who they are lost the same as uh, all of no, us who used to be I lost got, one day yeah. the guy that prayed for me and we just like we're good we're, yeah. we're good brothers we're best friends now we like and he's an ex muslim so we never had my whole entire life i never had a friend like this guy I never thought I'd have a friend. I always wanted a good friend, but I never had a. Always, I had thought I had a, so had a good friend. friend right yeah. now, Jesus is my best friend, and yeah. he's, he set me free in my life because I never thought there was a way out. I thought the only way out is to, to take my own life, and I was too afraid to do that Tell because I had a child, I had a child, and I had a wife, and I was too afraid to take my own life. All right. Well, I'm. You know, that's that's wonderful. Always wonderful experience to hear from those who. I'm so glad. Life. I'm so glad. You don't understand how much glad i am and how much i appreciate what happened never believed before did you before i never used to believe now that i believe i'm so appreciating life before i used to say why god before i used to say to myself why god like put me in this life and my life just getting messed up but since i found jesus found no peace in islam. i find no peace in islam before yeah well i understand that yeah happy for you my friend and you know uh, uh, thanks for your friends who but invited just, you to call yeah yeah, I wanna ask this question. This I was gonna ask a question, but to be honest with you, right now I'm doing my own study. Like I listen to your lectures a lot. Okay. I listen to other things. Yeah, I listen to mostly mainly your lectures a lot. Okay, go ahead. And you're doing a great work, my brother. Thank you. So, what the question? The, no, to be honest with you, I don't have any question. Do you, oh, okay. do you have any question, my brother? One sec, let me ask my brother if he's got any question. No, no, no. Just say to him, just say the question was um is G, we, we was talking to another Muslim today, yeah? Yeah. And we were trying to show him that in the Quran and the hadith it says that um hi hi C B, how are you brother? Hey my friend. God bless you, brother. Um, I spoke to you a while back. Um maybe you don't remember you've got millions of people on your um Skype. That's but right. yeah, this brother, um basically he got saved, everything just worked. Miracles, literally he was he was healed by miracles by Jesus um he's evangelizing now he's spreading the word in london and he was really hard-hearted for a whole year he wouldn't listen to one of my brothers but now he says thank god and also we were trying to uh, this is what i want i want to ask you a question basically in the quran and hadith it mentions that jesus will judge mankind yeah right mm -hmm. so i'm trying to tell this muslim brother if there's going to be one judge and god is a judge you know i'm trying to explain to him like what way what verses can i use like what quran passages get a pen quickly what um cp please um what uh quran chapter and verse can we use and what hadith would be really helpful to get this point across over to him please okay, well here you know uh, we will find you from the quran from the hadith sorry yeah. that uh where it says that isa will come down uh, let us see here in the, quran. the, in, the yeah, hadith, yeah, actually, right. in the hadith it says and actually there's a hadith that says uh, which means the spirit of Allah he will come down and yeah uh, okay let's see here first show some reference all right And this is going to be found in Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih al Bukhari. And Sahih Muslim too. As example, Sahih al Bukhari. Allah okay. Apostle said, By him in whose hands my soul is, the son of Mary, which means Jesus, will shortly, and this is so showing that Muhammad is a false liar again because he says shortly, descend among you, uh, uh, the people, as just a ruler, you know. And he will be yeah, the cross. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, 
and he will break the cross let me show you the reference here so he will come as a just ruler and you cannot be a just he will just all he will be just to all mankind that he will rule all mankind not only a group of people all right and exactly he will be ruling all the earth and he will be just a ruler and how a human being can be just ruler only justice the absolute just can be only for God so this is Sahih, right. Bukh Sahih Bukhari hadith number 2222 two, two, two. so Sahih Bukhari number 222242 two, two, two. two. thank you okay and is there is there any Quran I could use to back this up as well uh, you know uh, like uh, Quran did not mention that clearly but the Quran uh, mentioned that how the Messiah had been taken to heaven. Uh, you know, the Quran is a is a book of summaries. There's not the Quran is a, yeah. a stupid book. It's not. It doesn't book. make sense, CP. It do not make sense. Yeah, no, the Quran never meant to be a book of religion. It was a summary of other religions, supposedly. You know, so this is why exactly. you you will not find any connection between verses or even uh, chapters. You know. It's but, muddled up. It's like a book of just muddled up f uh, stories from different tribes and you know different cultures and religions. It's just it's unbelievable, CP. It's just literally unbelievable. And you know, like we need more people out there like you just spreading the word. I lost your friend. Um, we just we just thank God that Lord sent a servant like you to serve him. You know. Yeah. And then we can learn from your videos and and spread out. Because I don't think there's anyone in history that's actually sat down and researched the Quran that deeply with hadith to help people come out of bondage. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, there is there is people actually they did a great work before, but you know the uh, like I I saw, uh, but we don't, they don't have books. But I I know like I there's a debate once between a Christian person who used to work even for the Caliphate, uh, a mm -hmm. big sheikh. He sent him a, a letter asking him to convert to Islam. And the answer was amazing. So Christians always they knew Islam is a false religion, especially those who they are deeply in knowledge and they have a very strong uh, education. Uh, but the problem is, before who dare to say? I mean, you live in the Middle East. Can you say if I live now in me myself in the year two thousand nineteen? Yeah. If I am there, can I say a word? No, I cannot. That's it. You know, nothing. Yeah. So the, what happened today is a revolution of the internet. And which they cannot stop before they can kill you if you say something. And now we can communicate yeah. with people who live in Indonesia, in Saudi Arabia, in Kuwait, in Bahrain, wherever they are. Yet yeah. I'm sitting in my home and they cannot do nothing about it. You know? That's right. This That's only, right. Because even difference. even even the Bible mentions about in the last days information will be sent to and fro more fast, you mm -hmm. know. Um and that's just a confirmation of the internet and information getting sent. Well, you know, um, internet, I mean, I never been... internet yeah. is, is a good tool and bad tool at the same time. The same as we use it to leave, make Muslims leave Islam, the same as Muslims use it to make to, to deceive people. As an example, yesterday, uh, I saw a Muslim post in a link uh, about uh, how to slaughter a sheep. And the sheep, the second you say Allah to her, the sheep, here she relax and you can slaughter her. And supposedly, this is a fake video. It, it was made by a guy. Who is teaching you the tactique how to slaughter a sheep without making the sheep panic and there's many videos like this have nothing to do with Allah but the Muslims they do anything they can in order to fabricate and to make you believe in something it's a tactique how to hold the sheep how to lay it down and the yeah. sheep will relax as simple as that so the Muslims they, because they are bankrupt they try anything but the second you discuss with them about the stupid religion they have they have no answers so what they have they fabricate a video how the cat move over the Quran, how the cat avoid the Quran. You know, <laughs> she don't step in the. <laughs> you know? so, now, listen, listen. Do you know what the irony of it is? So funny is that my friend was saying that to me the other day. He said, "I watched the video and the cat didn't sit on the Quran." I said, it "Didn't want to sit on the Quran because it was scared of it. It's all darkness." No, no. They just they they, so they, do, they do editing. The, 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 the cat doesn't care if it's a Bible or it's a Quran yeah, it's or anything. Yeah, it's, it's a cat. Yeah, it's I mean, this is stupid. Is it? no, no, it's just too much superstition. It's you know what's funny as well? All the evidence every day, when, you know, most days when I go out and evangelize and I talk to Muslims and I give them all of these contradictions that I find from your videos and other sources, but many of your videos is like, they have no answers. They keep bringing up excuses. And I say to them, but look what your translators are saying. It's, I said, who do you want me to believe? The the, the hadith or, or your translation? Do you know what I mean? And it's just like that, that, that heart. 
hardness in their heart. It just needs, the Lord needs to loosen their heart, open their heart, soften their heart for them to come and get saved and come and enter into eternal life. Because if Muslims, if you understood what Jesus is, if you understood the Holy Spirit, the Father, you, it would change your life, Muslims. Right now you're in bondage. You're sitting there scared because Allah said he's going to take all of you to hell. Yeah? And you're sitting there scared right now and you're watching CP because you know that you're loving it. Right? You're loving it. You're taking it in, but you're just being rebellious. But really in their heart, they want what Christians have got. They want that peace, you know. And look, CP, I'm not going to take your time any longer. I know you're, there's probably just, um, some Abduls want to um, want to call you. Um, did you want to say something quickly before I leave, CP? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, CP. One second, mate. Hello, CP, again. Yes, sir, my friend. Go ahead. My, the reason why I made this call is because I'm, I've always been, even when I was a Muslim, I've always been someone like who's caring for people. And when I always want people, people like some to, for them to have something better than me, like always like want some people to be saved. But now that the reason why I'm called is I want many Muslims to be saved. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 happy that's you know that will be your. Uh... Yeah. Uh, I was your, just, uh, just a bit nervous machine. earlier. I don't know why, but now no I've sat down. It's will right. be a bit better. That's right, my friend. Well, thank you for calling um, me and feel free to call me again. No problem, brother. Thank Thanks, CP. Take care, yes. buddy. Shalom alaikum. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> you see, 